Hi guys, it's yours truly, Music Clues. Hey subscribers, it's Ethan here. And welcome to today's, uh, well, this next month's special edition of Culture Capture. Each, uh, for those who don't know, from our first video we did at the end of, uh, at the beginning of February, each month, me and Ethan are going to be recapping news that, uh, uh, news and stuff in terms of us and around us, us, that happened in terms of video game, video games, TV shows, shows slash anime slash cartoons, and movies. And in addition, Culture Capture is also the home of current things going on with our anime showdown. Mm -hmm. uh, but we will get, get to that near the end of this video. So, yeah. But without further ado, let's jump into uh, Culture Capture. So, in terms of movies, now we have two separate videos for this. Uh, this already, so we won't be going over too much of it, but, uh, we did see two major movies, movies this month. Yup, well, one is sort of a major, one is actually major. Yeah. The first one, one being the major movie, the Sonic movie, which me and Ethan, uh, me and Ethan saw on, uh, the day before Valentine's Day, since they had early showings around our area. Which is very nice, so that way we could just... We don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Uh. Uh. And well, obviously you probably want to see our review, so be sure to click the card above Ethan's head there, uh, so you guys can see uh, see it. But um. Uh. Even godless, godless. I can say say from what we saw. Oh my gosh, was it a great movie? <laughs> well, I would say this though. It was surprisingly one of the actually the best video game movie to date. Even better than I dare say Detective Pikachu. Don't bash us Pokemon fans, but it's true. <laughs> well, in our opinions. Uh, so, yeah. I honestly think it is very much worth checking out. Out if you have if you're skeptical about video game movies. Again, uh, I said we were going to go over them briefly. Yep. Uh, now, one thing you didn't know, in Fantasy Ethan, video game movies didn't have that good of a reputation, but he didn't have much confidence in this one. Yep. But guess who ended up being his words later? Yeah, I think we mentioned it, like, more than one video. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, if you haven't seen the Sonic movie... Go check it out, and if you're still, still skeptical, well, then you can check out our review. Again, click on the uh, uh, eye above Ethan's head there, and you can check out the uh, Sonic movie review we did. Now, on to the second of the two movies, which would just so happen to be... be? My Hero Academia Heroes Rising movie. Which, speaking of which, even actually wearing a shirt for <laughs> Deku right now. <laughs> yep, it's within my, uh, this, this warm jacket. So, uh, now, again, we this one's gonna be a little harder of it, too, because this one's actually canon to the season four anime. Mm -hmm. But, all we can tell you is, uh, and if you haven't checked out our review, which will be up before this video... Be sure to check it out. And a speculation video. Mm -hmm. Spoiler warning was that one, though. It spoils a little bit of the ending. Just saying. So, yeah. That's what we put... Uh, that, uh, that, uh, I can't say. Now, like I said, Ethan ain't his words about the Sonic movie. I ended up beating my words about the My Academia movie. Yup. Okay, so maybe I was right. You were right this time, but we'll see about next time. <laughs> well, because he, well, I'm not gonna make the argument to this video because this will be this will make uh, me tied for it. Yep. So, needless to say, we were tied for it, but it was a very great movie. I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, I will say one thing though. Why was the villain in this one? Not in Two Heroes. Well, ask the creator of Myogadamia. 
I mean, thank you, totally, dude, but... Seriously! Seriously! You only really needed this for two heels! It would've been absolutely perfect! That's all I'm gonna say without spoiling. Well, two, I would say two out of the movies, they're both not perfect, but there are my fair movies. My Yugidania. Of course you say that, weeb. Anyways, ladies, so yeah, I gotta say, great reviews for the movie so far. So far. Now, we did see trailers for Disney's Onward. And, That'll be Pixar. Yep. And honestly, I mean, maybe if we were interested at first, but now it's kind of meh. I think I see some people say it's good, I noticed. The reviewers. I don't know, man. That's just us. because We know Pixar are more longer. That's why. Exactly. Exactly. And I know when I see a movie, hit movie when I see one, in my personal opinion. I think I prefer watching it on when it comes out on Netflix or digitally. I prefer that than just going to theaters for it. Yeah. Well, at least for this one. Mm hmm So, sorry, Pixar, but no, uh, you, won't, you won't be seeing us in the theaters this time. We'll watch it later, though, I promise. To see if people, some people are right about it. Yeah, but as for Soul, we haven't seen too much of that one. But that one looks a lot better better than Onward, in my personal opinion. Which makes sense. Uh, but, um, yeah. Uh, we also saw, um, during the Sonic movie, we saw a trailer for another upcoming uh, Paramount movie. I can't remember for the life of me what it was. Something to do with uh, Monsters Wrestling. Was it Rumble? Yep, Rumble. That looks like a good one so far. I noticed. Yeah. Uh, I I haven't seen too much of it, but I like the concept and the designs look cool. They even look like they have some kind of like wrestling or... Well, not boxing, because you don't have the gloves or anything. They're just like wrestling or something. Exactly. So I'm looking forward to see, seeing what this one's got to do. That one is also by Paramount, by the way. So yeah. it will be interesting to see it. But it's not coming until January of next year. Which is also the time the new My, uh, Mortal Kombat reboot movie is coming. Mm -hmm. And now uh, that guys, there is another anime movie that I'm still waiting for for a release date. It is going to be coming out 2020, but I'm still waiting for it, is the Demon Slayer movie anime. Easy cowboy, easy, easy. You'll get your Demon Slayer. You just gotta have a little bit of patience. <laughs> See, and he calls me impatient. <laughs> Well, more like we're both impatient either ways. True, 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 true. Uh, but yeah, that's all for really movies this one. Now, it's been quiet on the gaming side, really, really, this month. Although, probably not going to be the case in March. <laughs> well, there is one game that came out today was Punch One Punch Man Nobody Knows or something like that. Yeah. Little, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, and literally, uh, it feels like, uh, One Piece been in Blood Clone. And I hate to say it, but, uh, that's what people say. Not looking hot. Yeah, not looking hot. Well, I'm gonna still try out the game, but I prefer trying it for library. Me too. So you'll hear our opinion at one point or the other. Utter, hmm, utter. I thought there was another game that did came out this month too. Was it Dreams? PlayStation 4? Yep. I was going to try out the game, and I did see some gameplay of it, guys. <sighs> I admit, it's probably better than Super Mario Maker, by the way. That's something that was already out, apparent, but... <laughs> well, I haven't played it yet, but I saw the gameplay of it. Cut me some slack. Yeah. Uh, now, I did say Ethan probably is not going to like it like it, because out of the two of us, he's not the creative type. Yeah, let's just say, though, guys... Even though, even though that you guys think I'm a Sony fan, guys, it's opinion, not a true fact. Can't you get, yeah, especially you, Sony fanboys, get that through your head. I even said about some Nintendo games versus Sony before, guys. Hate to tell you that. So, it's called being critical, so. Yeah. Uh, but, um... It was only a pair with dreams. 
Although I am still impressed how they managed to get actual sonic sound effects, effects and stuff inside the game. When that's actually pretty impossible, honestly. In dreams, right? Yes. Honestly, it is one of the games I'll be interested to try, though. I'll give them that. Yeah, very true, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get our hand on, hands on the copy soon. Well, we'll probably more likely just try for library. Lie wrong with the One Punch Man game. Uh, not looking forward to trying Something that one. tells me that I might like, like dreams more than One Punch Man game, guys. Yeah, I, Something that tells me. I got a gut feeling you might be right on that one. When we do do it, we will live stream dreams for you guys. Guys, One Punch Man will be off screen because I don't think we need to really show that one. And get my, my rent in there. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, definitely look forward to that. But other than that, it's been a pretty quiet month. Oh, wait! There is one game I did play, play you know, and that would be Street Fighter V Champion Edition, edition, which is basically all the stuff that Street Fighter V currently has, plus a new character playable fighter, which is very, who's also very familiar to anybody who's played the previous Street Fighter. Yep. I know, Street Fighter IV. Which uh, is Seth. Yup. Uh, pay for the arcade mode. Sheesh. I got flashba flashbacks when I'm trying to beat him and Street Fighter 4 was Cammy. Ugh, that was not fun. Yup, same thing what happened with me too, guys. Yeah, yeah. and even so Ryu main. Ryu's easy to use. Hard to master. Yup. <laughs> I would say it's harder to master against other characters like Seth. Oh, no kidding. Kidding, kidding. That guy was not a cakewalk. Even with him not copying the moves, moves he didn't see him easy. And that's coming from me. Yup. So, yeah. But other than that, if you haven't played Street Fighter V yet, get that edition. It's the best one available. Mm -hmm. uh, but heads up, do not give away the code inside the package. That code is for the champion uh, upgrade pack, which is what you're going to need to access all the content inside the game. So do not give away that code. Yup. Uh, but other than that, it was a pretty good game. Mm-hmm. Yup. That's a good upgrade, you could say. Mm-hmm. Probably even more better upgrade than it first came out. Yeah! <laughs> because I know for a fact that a lot of people say when it came out, it was... Yeah! That arcade edition happened and it was... Actually went a lot more better than since then. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, if you haven't checked it out, well, what are you waiting for? Go check it out. Mm -hmm. Still skeptical? I have some gameplay videos. Actually, we have a lot of gameplay videos of Street Fighter Five, yep. 5 on the channel that you can check out. Out, trust me. Uh, but, um, yeah. So, definitely go ahead and go check out Street Fighter. Uh, uh, Street Fighter Five Champion Edition. Other than that, there's a couple other games that also came out, like Blue Factory 4, but I haven't had my hands on with that one yet, because... Many. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah. So, that's all with games. Yup. Now, anime. Uh, okay, so we're gonna split this into two parts. First, we're gonna tell you the results of the anime showdown, mm -hmm. and then detail our next upcoming anime bat. Yup. And then, second of all, we're going to be announcing a little something new that we're going to be doing for Culture Capture, and in general, general video, too. Uh, uh, but we'll get to that in a little bit. All right, guys. So, it's finally time. Who do you think won the Anime Showdown Round 1? And... I meant this, Round 1. And... Drumroll, please! And the winner is... Ethan N! Yeah! 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 Go, 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 go! Pissed off the win! <sighs> Beginner's luck! Well, you had a... Okay, guys. You had an advantage from the beginning? Well, all the episodes count? But I managed to go way more through because of all that. I know that. I know I thought I was going to. Okay, guys. I'll tell you how I feel for this whole thing. I thought I was going to lose first. Because I thought he was going to catch up on it more. So that's why I got to like 
gradually get all the episodes quick. But thanks to YouTube, got distracted. So he managed to sneak out of me. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, I gotta say, some episodes get me intense. Some episodes I'm like, yeah. Some episodes I'm like, what? And then some were just like, nope, nope. Yep. So, um, yeah. Now, we will have a my, uh, uh, One Piece series review split into two parts. One based off of the classic arc, which I was doing, and then one based off of the modern arc. But I need a little bit more time to watch more of the classic arc, arc first, so we will be doing the modern One Piece later. Later on, when we get a chance. But if you want Ethan's general opinion of most of the modern... Seems like average modern day anime, sadly. They're all couple of great arcs, though. Or even the last arc before the latest arc actually went great. Hey, but for the most part, yeah. Yeah, not That was, like, beginning before Marine Fork came around. That was... Yeah. That second half, it was a lot better, but... Uh, and the post-time skip. Yeah, but there was still some... Nah, arcs. Yeah, but at least a couple arcs saved me. But, again, we'll save that for the One Piece series review. Oh, and for both, spoiler warning if you haven't. Haven't watched Nita yet. Uh, but yeah. So, the other thing we want wanted to mention, mention is that we're going to be coming up with a new monthly series. It's not going to start this month, but we'll start at the end, uh, uh, beginning of next month, called Anime Showdown, Binge Before the Showdown, which is really me and Ethan telling you what animes we're watching, watching and cartoons we're watching before our next Anime Showdown bet, wh yep. which is the Dragon Ball bets. Yup, so let's say, though, that how this works for this is is that I'm going to be taking on all the classic era for Dragon Ball, like original Dragon Ball when Goku was a little kid. And uh, I, I did care of the Majin Buu Saga because I did watch Dragon Ball Z Kai while I was younger. So Majin Buu Saga. And lastly, <sighs> Dragon Ball GT that everybody hates. So I'm going to try to watch those. Yep. <laughs> but as for MC, he has to catch up on Dragon Ball Z Kai, which is a still part of the classic story, but it's a well, like a review again from Dragon Ball Z. So it's going to review him pretty much like when Goku, before he became a Super Saiyan. Don't worry, it's no spoilers. Well, listen, those of you who are new to it, eh, it doesn't matter either way. And another thing he gets to see is Dragon Ball Super once again. Yep, yep. Although, I do kind of feel bad for Ethan because he wants to watch Super real badly. I'm Goku, Goku Fultra Instinct, but, hmm, I can be patient. <laughs> yeah, so, again, the totals for all that, Ethan has 310 episodes to tackle. I once again have the advantage with 298. Yes, hoping YouTube or games don't distract me. We st we don't start this bet until July, which is around the time. But we don't know when in July. But we'll figure out when for you guys. Yeah, we know it's gonna be that month, but we don't have a civic uh date. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Civic date yet? Because that also depends on what games come out out then too. Mhm. Mm or it could be like well, I'm working the Fourth of July shift. Who knows? Yeah. Just so you know, Ethan will, uh, in real life, Ethan actually works in a park district nearby our, uh, by our, uh, by our city. And, uh, he has to work a couple of long hours. And during the 4th of July shift, it's usually pretty long! Sometimes I have to work in the night shifts. Yeah, so... Not pleasant for our pe pal here. Yeah, so it will really depend on what Ethan has to do, but it won't be in the beginning half of the month, that's for sure. Yeah, so let's just say, let's say it's possible chance it could be in the middle of the month or the last. Who knows? Yeah. We don't know. So yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll announce it to you when we get closer. Yep. 
All right. So, um, but yeah, so, bi uh, so binge before the showdown is basically what me and Ethan have been watching that whole month in addition to playing video ga ga games. It will be its own separate video from this, this, but, uh, for this, uh, episode, so I figured we start. So, Ethan, why don't you tell them what you've been watching lately? Sure, after the One Piece. Okay, uh, I could go ahead and tell you one thing before I go to the other animes I watched. Okay, first anime I did watch, before the whole thing, I did watch one episode, I think it was two or one, I forgot. I watched a bit of the latest arc of One Piece, so far, you're doing good so far. That's all I can say. I'll catch up on that when I have a chance. So that way, I could just say it out with... With the modern review when it shows up, so that I'll make sure I'll catch up on that, so I can tell you the opinion about the modern along with the other acts I watched while in the bet. So I'll make sure of that myself before I check out before I go back and watch the others. All right, besides that one, um, let's see if there's other ones. Okay, um, I did check out JoJo Bazaar Adventure. Season 2, Stardust Cruiser. Alright, you'll be shocked, everybody. Get ready. If those of you didn't didn't hear my opinion about JoJo Bazaar, I'll say it anyway. Okay, at first, I watched the first couple of episodes of the first season of JoJo Bazaar. I was like, eh. And if I watched that four or four episodes of it, guess what? You'll be in for a surprise. I like it. Somehow, Sin jumped in it again! And here's something critical to keep in mind. If one of the reasons why Ethan hated it originally, well, okay, hate maybe is a little bit of a strong word, disliked it, was because of the designs looking little... We're talking characters. Yeah, character design-wise. Looked a little loud of place. Mm -hmm. Still do, if I'm being honest. That happened to me with One Piece at the time. But then, then, as soon as Ethan wa wa watched it, he actually started, they actually started to glow on him a little. Shockingly. Well, it's due to because I've been attached to the character I liked in the Jump Force. Thanks a lot, remember who he is. He goes, oh, no, 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 no. that got in my head too much. Yup, that's my reaction. <laughs> so, I guess you get a not no, no, sin jump anime. Uh, sin, sin jump, uh, you get made even a no, sin jump one. Now try not to poke too much statues out of him. He's got enough to deal with. Yes, <laughs> true there. Okay, so I checked out Jojo Bazaar. I'll still catch up on it later on when I have the chance. Alright, let's see if there's other ones I checked out recently besides One Piece, Jojo Bazaar. I'm pretty sure there's other ones. Um, ah, which other ones? Thank you. I checked out Fate and Stay, by the way. And it is and it, and if you guys hear about Fate and Stay games or Fate games or Fate series, it's an anime based. And another thing, it's also from also a video game as well. If you did not know, and I checked out the four or five episodes. I forgot how many. I gotta tell you, a few first episodes, I was like, eh. And then when I walk out more further, <laughs> I'm starting to like it. So, that's another anime I liked. So, I would say, oh, I've got that one other anime. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I gotta say this one. I've got, I checked out this one first and then the rest. I forgot about that. I'll say this one anyway. So, as you guys know, I like Fate and Stay. And plus, I'll try to watch it later on. And another anime I liked so much, I first watched a few episodes. It's called Blue Akidus. I don't know what's how you say it, but that anime I checked out, boy, that really got me good. And I'll tell you something, the main character in the anime, I gotta tell you this, he probably relates to me in some ways. His personality. Yeah, I'm not going to say what because of personal reasons, but yeah. Let's say the main character in the anime kind of relates to me pretty much. 
But I'm not going to go further in details because, spoiler alert. <laughs> so, so I say, how many animes I like so far? Jojo Bazaar, surprisingly, on season two. Blue Like It Is, that's no shocking because it got me good in the first episode, so I had a strong start. Uh, let's see. Fade and Stay. I had a little flaws there, and then I start liking it. Okay, there should be other ones, too. Um, Fade and Stay. Okay, okay, so... Alright, another anime I did check out is Finland Saga. Finland Saga. Now, if you guys are wondering wonder, wonder why you haven't heard about it, if you've been mainly watching the Foundation or Country Wall VRV, well, I got some bad news. It's actually not on any of those services. It's unfortunately, it's on Amazon Prime exclusive. And not only that, I bet you on YouTube have that too, but... Uh, as far as I know, Vinland Saga is only on Amazon Prime. Yeah. Well, somebody must have recorded it and is just able to get it, so uh, who knows? Yeah, boy. But uh, another thing, too, guys, is is that one, the anime, I'll tell you something. I was curiously, how did they, how did they... Hang on. All right, guys, so before we continue with uh, the video... Uh, the, the, my, my, uh, animes I checked out. <sighs> Got some bad news. We just saw the poster, poster for the upcoming Monster Hunter live action movie. And turns out that one of the directors is also behind the Resident Evil movies. Which did absolutely awful at the box office and really terrible amongst the fans. Nah, not expecting this one to do good. And we just got on a good streak here. Sonic was like the was like the rise of the hope of the Fugi movies. And now this comes along. <laughs> Fugi movies are gonna be dead again. <laughs> thanks a lot. They're gonna die. They're gonna die thanks to you, who's directing this. Who's directing this? Like from Resident Evil. Hate to tell you, buddy, but. You're gonna go downhill! And then everybody should say, You're fired! Seriously, dude. Seriously. Dude, you better deliver on this one. Only because I'm not gonna be busy during September, I am gonna go see this movie in person. But if it ends up being bad, well, it was fun while it lasted, but the curse is back! Again! <laughs> <laughs> and everybody was being optimistic about Fugi movies again. And now you just come along and boop, drop this out of nowhere? Yeah, this is going to be terrible. And especially Uncharted Movie 2, guys. The only one me and Ethan are being fairly optimistic about is the Mortal Kombat movie. I, I meant every Fugi movies that are coming out now, I mean. That's, yep. why, I'm just, that's why I'm doing this. This isn't going to go well. I can just feel it. The Fugi movies, all fun while lasted. Is it too, is it too late in production, production for them to switch to uh, Paramount, maybe? Yeah. Or oh, somebody else? Anybody but Sony, of course. Because don't bring up, up into the Spider-Verse, guys. That's just one movie. One movie. They put it on sucks before even then. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, yeah. Sorry to dampen the mood a little bit, but it just happened. 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 Anyways, let's get back on the positive note. All right, so right now, I just got finished talking about Blue Icadis. I think I talked about Finland before the before the interruption happened. Yep. I did, did talk about Finland and Blue Icadis, so Finland I'll keep talking about. Okay, so I watched up to like close to 10 episodes. I would say 9, just the closest estimate. I'll tell you something, guys. You're in for a great anime. And I'll tell you this, guys. You're going to be in for a great story, great time. But there's one problem, though. As for younger kids, I've been recommending don't check out this one. Because it's aiming for adults. Just so you know. 
That's your warning. There's your warning right there. Mm-hmm. But if you're like, in this age, me and musicals are, you're good to go. You can watch it. But if you're like, lower than the adult age, like 18, or if you're like, under, under, like, I don't know. Uh, under 15. Yeah, if you're under 15, don't see it. Because... You guys would be turn off all these violences and stuff. Not only that, uh, how do I say it? To warn you, it's only on Amazon Prime exclusive. Secondly, it's only on English sub. So you know. What he said. All right. All right. So, yeah. Uh, anything else? Hmm. Oh, yeah, there's other ones. Like, I think it was two animes I didn't mention yet. Oh, there's one more, but it's a, but it's a animated movie. But that will be after the animes I'm telling you about. Next one I'm going to mention is Haiko. Haiko. It's a Zinjan volleyball anime. I saw the first episode of it. It's looking hot so far. Oh, uh, you might want to mention one crucial detail before for the fan uh, before the civ- fan service fanboys get all over this one. Mm-hmm. It's a boy volleyball ball anime, not a girl, a boy. Just yep. so you know. Yep. So I gotta say that anime is definitely good so far. It's why I saw the first episode of it. Next anime after that, I rewatch one anime then MC. Told me recommend to watch again was the Seven Deadly Sins. I watched up to like maybe five, four episodes after the first. Well, I'm gonna say the story seemed to be good, seemed to be much better than I expected. Only one problem though the opening. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Why Ethan's just a little picky about the opening, but it's the opening. That's a cl- cl- uh, at least it's not the whole story. Story otherwise would be a little bit more critical on him. But <laughs> yeah. Well, I had to rewatch it just to be safe. Yeah, eventually he was completely turned out because he only watched one episode. So I had to rewatch it again to be safe. <laughs> yeah, and he says I'm particular. She. Alright, so one more before MC goes for his. Um, I did check out the one movie that is from DC. It's called Batman Ninja. And I'll tell you something, guys. I say it's definitely one of the... That's actually the best Batman film I've seen. But there's one problem, though. The pacing... Now, if you guys remember, number, number, I did. I, I might. I don't remember saying this, but if I did or didn't, didn't, please check out our Detective Pikachu review. By the way, uh, the pee scene in Detective Pikachu was pretty. Uh, that's why I gave it such a low rating. Seems like the Batman, uh, Batman Ninja movie seems to be the same thing. But it seemed to be doing a lot better because it was, well, one of others is own IP, so. And it's animated. So, eh, it did Not a lot. Not CIG, of course. Yeah. Uh, so, it did a lot better. Oh, even I know the voice actor for Batman, uh, Batman in that movie, which is a certain Blue Hedgehog's voice actor. Uh, but, <laughs> other than that, it was a great movie. Without despiting about the pacing, of course. Yep. So, uh, yeah, it definitely sounds like a good movie, so I'll definitely take a look into it. Yep. All right, now to get into the stuff I've been check- uh, checking out lately. And I've been checking out quite a bit. Yep. There are more likely cartoons, some are anime, or even a movie, so I'll let MC explain. Yeah. Now, just so you know, this is the only time during Culture Capture, once again, getting that we're going to be talking about this stuff. From this point forward, forward and April, me and Ethan will be doing separate video, uh, separate video of uh, separate video. So one on Culture Capture, and then one on what we've been watching lately. And now we, Mister Anime Weeb, 
weeb, you'll probably be watching a lot more anime. Yeah, so... Okay, so I have been watching a couple of documentaries, but because I don't want to talk about that, <laughs> I'm only going to go over the animes. So, uh, uh, I mean, uh, get cartoons and um, animes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I've only watched really three cartoons lately. Lately. Uh, Glitch and Text, Motown Magic, and Mewtwo Strikes Back. Whoa, so far. Five, five, and I've only watched a little bit of each. Uh, so, oh, uh, Motown Magic is mostly a kid show, but it's a very good kid show because it uses the music from Motown, uh, Motown, which is a good old rock and roll, uh, uh good old soul music that us Black Americans really love to listen to. Um. But uh, from, uh, but each one explores a theme, theme, theme around that song, song, and tries to translate it into a kid-friendly lesson of some sort. Alright, so alright. The opening theme to that one really surprised me, though. So as you guys know, one of the most popular songs of all time, I'm in Motown. Town is the Jackson 5's I Want You Back, back, which I was totally expecting to be the opening theme for this one. But shockingly enough, or maybe appropriately enough, uh, it was the underappreciated ABC. Now, I know what you're going to say. It's considered one of the top four. Really? How come I can only find, like, four covers of ABC? See, see in terms of uh, artists that have covered it, and I don't mean indie artists. Uh, and, like, I literally have a whole playlist of over 99 covers of I Want You Back. Yep. So, yeah. Argue me that back. <laughs> uh, but, honestly, though, I have enjoyed, uh, enjoyed the show. It's really good. Good. Um, oh, I've got to tell you one anime movie I did check out, but I'll let it MC explain for us. Thank you. Uh, uh, but, um, yeah, yeah, each of the, uh, each of the, so some of the popular songs, songs from Motown also got explanation, uh, so translated to a kid-friendly lesson, lesson that everybody, uh, that, Everybody can enjoy. So honestly, I think it's a very good cartoon. It only has two seasons, sadly, but it was a recent one from Netflix. It's a Netflix original. So actually, now that I mention it, all three are Netflix originals. So <laughs> you gotta check it out when you can. So the next one, uh, next one, I'm gonna mention Seven Deadly Sins. I've only watched one episode, but so far, I love all of it. The character. The opening, which Mr. Ethan's picky about. Not the ending, though. I didn't say about the ending, did I? Bam. <laughs> uh, um, the characters, actors. Um, yeah, I really like all, all, all of it so far. Fine. Of course, I haven't watched too many more episodes than Ethan. This is the first ep episode in question. So yeah, and then finally. Finally, um, po um, Pokemon Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution. I've only watched it a little, but it looks good so far. We'll say the people were right, though. Ash looks kind of weird in 3D. And CIG, since CIG animation-wise. But he still looks pretty cool. Even, even though if it could be particular about CGI stuff. I'm kidding! <laughs> uh, <laughs> but honestly, it has been great, great so far. Like I said, we're probably going to be watching a lot more than this. So once a month's gone by, we'll check back in with you and let you know what we've been watching. Uh, of course, I'm going to check more anime as I can. Of course, movies too. But uh, I'll tell you this though, guys. After I check out a few more of that, I'm going to try to catch up to One Piece, latest season, and Mayu Gidinya, season four, part two. I have the chance. 
Yeah. And then if you and then and oh, if speaking of my hero academia, if you haven't checked out a speculation video, be sure to do so. So click on the icon above my pal's head here, and you can check out the review we have for it. Seriously though, what uh seriously though, though, don't tease us like that foundation. Don't tease us! Yup. <laughs> uh anyways. So yeah. That, uh, that is pretty much it for today's culture capture. Except for one more surprise for you all. I did check out the anime film that I've been curious for a long time. I had a few people told me about. It was good to them. It's called Akira. It's A-K-I-R-A. Akira. Akira, what do you call it? You'll see the cover looks like yeah, there's a guy with a red coat. It looks like a pill in the... In the Logo in the back of the jacket, red jacket in the pants, and a futuristic motorcycle or bike, and the cover. That's what I'm talking about. And the movie is actually 1988 film, by the way. That's way before our lifetime, by the way. And so far, I didn't finish the movie yet. So embarrassing, I don't want to say it, but I, I actually slept through in the, some of the parts in the movie. Yeah, one thing, unfortunately, Ethan Spotty likes to do is fall asleep sleep when he's watching something important, which is why my word of advice, if you're watching anime, never, never leave that app open. Twitch it to YouTube or Twitch or something that's going on. That way, when you fall asleep, sleep, it doesn't, you don't actually binge watch a whole bunch of episodes and then uh, lose track of where you are. Or not only that, you can go <sighs> if you're on the pill on your head. Yep, pretty much. That's what happens to Ethan's body. As soon as it hits a pillow, it's like, yeah, I'll stay. Mm. Exactly, like that. So anyway, all I can say my opinion so far, I watch all the way through almost. One of the greatest so far I noticed. I can see why people love it. <laughs> that's good to hear. Well, that's just my expression so far. Yep. Alright guys, so that's all for this month's Culture Capture. Yep. A capture. Now, in April, it's going to be a little later in April because of Spring Break, since I'm going to... Oh. Actually, I shouldn't say anything, because that would be spoils for the upcoming Musicals Direct. But, uh, um, if you guys are uh, if you guys are curious, it's going to be a little bit late on April. So, you won't get back to me. I won't, we won't get back to you probably until mid-April for that week month's cultural capture. But, it will be back at regular pace back by May. So, yep. yeah. Uh, but, I will say this. Say this. Uh... We'll have a lot to talk about in March, March game-wise. Lots more, like impressions of all the games that me and Ethan are buying. So expect the two-part video. And not only that, of course in April, we talked about it before, guys. We're going to talk about our One Piece review, what we watched. And plus, I'll make sure I'll catch up the latest arc on my own end, so I can put a part of it in our review. Is that exactly? Exactly. Uh, now it's got like I said, it's gonna be split up into two parts: modern and classic. Modern will be in March, and in April we will have the classics. Cause by then I'll probably have cut back up since I still have a whole bunch of seasons to tackle. Me, I'm just gonna try to finish the last of arc. No, but it's going on right now. All right. Well, that's all for now, guys. Guys. Again, congratulations to Ethan for winning the first part of our anime showdown. Yeah, hey, hey. But just wait till Dragon Ball. Ah, uh, hami, hami, ah! <laughs> you out of the competition, <laughs> and I'll give you the final, final, final flash back at you. <laughs> well, we'll see about that, at Mister. Mister. Again, vote for who you think's gonna win this one. <laughs> one, two. Vastly superior music clues, or, or the, the loser Ethan N. Or you could call me the Ethan N. the Weebo Kid. <laughs> uh, well, at least you missed his description. <laughs> uh, anyways, 
See you guys later. This is yours truly, Music Clues. He's in, signing out. And y'all have a nice gaming day. Go for Team Music Clues. I'll win this time. Ethan, Ethan, we'll rule the next time. <laughs>